All right. So hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to create a very simple animation on essentially any object or text view or image. And for example, I'll just show you right here that if I tap on this image, it will do a nice 360 and then a few flips and zoom around, fade a bit, and it will just move in any way you define it to move. But uh, just to do it from scratch in case it's easier, let's just go straight to our new project and go to our res file, we'll go to layout and drawable, but first we want to create a nice vector acid. So we'll, uh, we'll look for a cake this time. I think cake should be fitting for this video. We'll click on cake. It's a nice black cake, my favorite. And we'll click on it there because I will change the color to blue. I like blue cakes as well. And we'll go to our activity main real quick just to make sure it's in the center. We'll do image view. We'll give it a 100 SP on each side. We'll take away the text and we'll replace that with source. And there should be cake down there and then finally give it the ID of uh, image view image to keep things very simple. I forgot to write the ID there. And that's all you really have to do in your XML file. But to keep things very, very simple, let's say we want to make the cake uh, rotate 360 degrees. We'll do, first we'll set the on click listener. Set on click listener and then we'll click the same image view and write animate. And as always, to keep things simple, I like to do apply, which is a very nice Kotlin feature because you can just write the parameters inside without having to write image view each time. So here, first thing we want to define is the duration. And we'll make that, uh, let's do a thousand seconds. Uh, sorry, a thousand milliseconds. And we'll write rotation by, uh, x by. And here we can do 360, uh, well, 360F, which it always requires a float, or at least most of the time it requires a float. And that will just make it rotate by 360 degrees. If you were just to write rotation X instead, then it will rotate to 360 degrees and it will stay there, which means if you click it again, it won't go any further because it's already at 360 degrees. This one will just continuously add 360 degrees to your uh, current animation. So something to keep in mind. And then of course you want to write dot start. And that's all you need to start it. All right, perfect, so it loaded. And now if we click on it, you'll see, well, I did the rotation in the wrong way, I guess. It was supposed to be rotation Y. So it looks really good if you do it like that. It looks like a 3D vector asset. I really liked using rotation Y, it made it look really cool. But uh, there's one more thing I want to show you before I end this video, and that is if you kind of uh, type in with end action or with start action, it will actually add an extra action to your animation, so you can finish the animation with another animation, or you can create some sort of program like a toast. But let's say we rotate it uh, Y by that, and then we'll add the end action to be... Ah, actually, we have to create the whole an uh, animation again, so we'll do image view, dot animate and then we'll do the apply method again to save time we'll get this and we'll add that there and essentially just turn this to 3600 to just make it speed up very very fast once it ends with the first one and of course we need to call start as always and then we can click on the, the play again or the run button and as soon as it loads, you'll see that we've got a very complex animation there. And yeah, that's actually all there is to using an animation kind of method. As far as I know, it's very simple, it's very straightforward. I like to play around with it when I get really, really tired in my programs. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped. I hope it gave you a few ideas. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.